Turning to the economics, South Korea's overall current account surplus widened last year, but its current account balance differed with each country as it saw a record surplus with the United States, but a record deficit with China. Our Lee Soo-jin has the details. South Korea recorded its largest ever current account deficit with China last year, but also the largest ever current account surplus with the United States. According to the Bank of Korea on Wednesday, South Korea's overall current account balance recorded a surplus of more than 35 billion U.S. dollars last year, up from around 25 billion U.S. dollars from the year before. This was mostly driven by its current account surplus with the United States surging from nearly $69 billion in 2022 to $91 billion last year. That's the largest current account surplus with the United States on record since related data was first collected. And this was led by the current account balance for goods recording its largest surplus ever thanks to strong demand for automobiles and machinery. On the other hand, South Korea's current account balance with China recorded a deficit of $30 billion, also a record high. South Korea's current account balance with China has remained in the red for two consecutive years after falling into negative territory for the first time in 21 years in 2022. And last year's deficit was greater than that of 2022. This comes as outbound shipments of goods, namely chips, plunged by a large margin, while inbound shipments of goods dropped only slightly. South Korea's current account balance with the United States has shown an increasing surplus since 2020, while its current account balance with China has shown a greater deficit in 2023 than in 2022. It looks as though this decoupling trend driven by rising exports of AI chips will continue. As for its current account balance with other nations, South Korea's current account deficit with Japan last year shrank compared to a year earlier due to decreased imports of goods such as chemical products. But its current account surplus with Southeast Asian countries fell as outbound shipments of chips, oil and chemical products fell. The Bank of Korea official said that this surplus drop seen with the Southeast Asia region was, however, offset by the record surplus with the U.S. and that the central bank believes that exports to the U.S. will remain robust for a prolonged period. Lee Soo-jin, Arirang News.